beautiful morning. The last day we can still get some farm work done. But we got a busy day ahead of us. We got to haul some grain so we can sell on the global market. And hopefully we can fertilize. Busy bees, let's get to it. All right, so we are on our computer here. So I purchased an uh, export license for the US and I think by playing the global market. So we are going to try to sell our soybeans here on the global market. So we'll see what that is. So we got our own soybeans. It looks like, where's the Netherlands at? Looks like the Netherlands are on the way up. So we are going to try to play the global markets here. So first, we got to purchase a warehouse. So we need, I'm going to go about, we're going to sell everything. So we're really going to, so we will purchase this. Hoping it allow us. So it looks like we have to change some more funds to our global account here. There we go. That should be okay. And then we'll have to go back here. There's a lot of stuff you have to uh, worry about doing. We gotta try to get our close to, there we go. So now we have that. Now we just have to get a warehouse in the Netherlands. Okay, now we'll upgrade this. All right, so now we have it. So now we have our warehouses. Now we just need to go haul our grain. If you haven't checked out this, it's pretty cool. So I know I haven't checked this out for you. So uh, we do have two bids. So we're gonna look at these two uh, bids on these fields so field 59 it usually comes up with a picture but for whatever reason the picture isn't showing that's our bid there and then we have a bid on field 68 we're going to take a drive down there and just show you them fields really quickly i thought it would be interesting for you to see them and uh another cool thing about this site is uh before we leave you can bid on equipment here so these are bids across multiple servers you can sell your equipment right here uh, you this is your accounting so this is our assets right now uh, and then we have we can play the import export center where you can kind of play the global markets there's permit centers right here where you can get a uh, property permit where you can get a building permit animal permit logging permit skilled trade permit CDL if you, we want to haul or uh, applicator license uh, what else can we do we can we can play the lotto so you can pick a lotto ticket here's all the winners tough Kentucky Derby seems like he uh, he's going out with a lot of payouts there and then there's a competition area here so you could better farms and bargain farm fashion so you can build your own farmyard and uh, basically uh, be the red clockers or the blue clockers applicants there so let's go out here get into our truck here sorry about that doors a little haywire close that door get into our beautiful truck so hopefully we actually have plans on possibly painting this and getting our uh, farm logo put on. So I think we should get that here soon. I'm hoping at least. We'll see. Like I said, I promised to go look at these fields for you. We're going to do a little uh, field scouting. You didn't see the other day we got both of our fields over here harvested and planted again. So we are going to do full double crop. So I believe this is right up the road here. I'm trying to see. I have to break out my map here. 
this field. All right, so this is the field here. We pull off to the side. Or put her hazards on right there. All right, so this is the field. We have wittered, withered corn. Sorry about that. Uh, it's not a very big field. It's about 14 hectares, acres. So here in game, it has a nice little pond right here. Would be would be really nice if the game would allow us to irrigate out of that. But I, I'm really hoping we can purchase this field. It has a ditch running through the center right here. Not a big deal. So looks like we will have to plow this field. So chisel it next come spring. Don't think we can get any crops in it right now because by the time the auction closes out, we won't own the field. See this all this grass and everything that's dying here. So I know uh, Clutch wanted to possibly do something different maybe so not just do all crops but i think right now it's probably smart if we just stick with crops just for the equipment wise until we can really get more equipment and start purchasing more items and then we could do whatever we want to because we got plenty of money to spend all right so we're gonna go take a drive down here show you this other field here down the road. Hopefully don't dry up off the bridge again. So a good little field there. As you can see it's just right over the little crest right here from our farm. Really close. So not too far whatsoever. So we got plenty of area. Man, it sure looks like Austin Jake's farm isn't doing too good. They, uh, they got a lot of stuff to harvest here soon. I mean, they don't seem to be on much, that's for sure. I don't know why uh, Austin's helping out the squad and before he gets his own harvesting done, but that's on him. Whatever he wants to do. Alright, so this is the other field we bid on. Pull in here. This actually has a little driveway we can pull in. So, uh, this looks like it's actually wheat that's withered. So we can actually drive on this. Not do any harm. I'm just going to drive around this field. So, just to make sure we it's not a bad area would be nice if we could send in some soil samples and I'm really ooh, just realize how fast I'm going across this field here this truck rides so smooth you can barely even tell how fast you're going really getting into trouble quick so this is right on the edge this would not be a bad field to have I think good looking field could be pretty productive for us, I think. Right by our little bridge we almost fell off. Ooh, better slow down. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I was going like a maniac there. This is right, about right off that bridge is where we almost fell off the bridge late the other night. Good thing that didn't happen. Alright, so now I want to uh, hook up my wagons once I get back to the farm here. And I'm going to hopefully start hauling. So I have to unhook the planter, hook up all the wagons, fill them up, and haul them to the warehouse, which is not terribly far from our house. All the road. Yeah, see, I mean... Literally, all they did was just one small little pass on that field, so. Not sure uh, why they're not harvesting more of that field there. All right, so uh, we're gonna pull in here. I think I'll go park my truck back in our garage. Really quick. 
quick. Pull these cords out there. There we go. Hopefully start this up. Yeah, there we go. I think beans we are gonna do some roading here. I'm gonna put the duels on. Maybe that's probably not the best thing to do, but I think we need some duels on it. All right, so we got the duels off of here, so we should be better going down the road. Uh, I think we're about ready. I know this is probably a little stupid, but we are going to use all three of the carts. I can back them up here. Alright, so we got them all hooked up. They're all the wires plugged in here. Gotta make sure that's all good. So, hopefully, we are legal. Long train we gotta unpull here. Alright, so we're filling up this uh, cart right here with soybeans. Putting it out of the lake there, right there. Gonna fill up all three of these, and I think I'm gonna have to make two trips, to be honest. Alright, now the third cart. Wow. Yep. This is a monotonous time of the year when you gotta haul grain all the time. Alright, so I don't have fancy uh, auto roll up tarps, so I'm gonna have to roll these all up by hand here. All right, there's the last one done. Hop over here. We got all. Oh, make sure all of our blinkers are blinking here. Well, uh, yep, we are good to go. Let's head down the road. That's what you call a long train there. And like I said, I know we're taking a chance, but uh, we've got a lot to do here. We almost hit our gas station or uh, gas barrel there. Take this nice and wide there. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it pulls around the little ass in there a lot. here. Come on, come on, keep purring. Oh man, maybe we should have left the duels on. Oh wow, this is, this is really pulling this old John Deere hard up this hill. Oh, come on. It's still gripping. It's still going. I think we got it. Pretty sure we got it here. Oh yeah, there we go. This is one step deep hill to get up. Yeah. Ooh, I think that's the worst hill there, so we got up that one. We can conquer them all. We're just home stretch now. It's just on the other side of this dairy up in front of us.
right up here. Looks like we got some FSN trucks here. So I believe this is where we unload at. Not 100%. FSN Network Customs. Looks like we got a truck over here too. All blued out. Not a bad little area here. Let's see what we got in here. Barley soybeans. So we got quite a bit of soybeans. We're going to add to that total. Alright, so we are headed out for just a few more wagons load and we will be done with our uh, hauling here. beat the train no no we are not going to beat the train bummer oh man I'm sure somewhere in this uh, county road here there's a pressure plate that activates this train to come because every time I try to cross this I gotta wait for the train to come by come on trains pass let us go through the train is no longer there Oh, there we go. Now we get to go through. Alright, so we are just going, coming back. We just got our tickets. We unloaded. Uh, actually, I, I uh, purchased a uh, plow. So, there's been a lot of rumors for the weather. All the spiracy theories out there thinking that uh, we're gonna get a lot of snow come winter so I uh, figured it's probably better to get a plow now than wait until we're snowed in and try to get one so I'm gonna I bought a plow down here at the store I'm gonna go pick it up here quickly bring that back and then hopefully I get enough time to uh, fertilize maybe plow a field All right here's our plow as you can see, you can move each wing. Oh, oops, moving my mirrors back and forth. So that wing, this wing. So, pretty cool plow. I think while I'm down here, I'm going to go see what these uh, Austin and uh, Austin and then, uh, Grant are doing down here. See where they are at. Uh, Austin, what are you doing? Hmm? We ran over Austin. He mysteriously is floating on top of our truck. Right, so we need to get back to work. Looks like Austin is uh, daydreaming over here. Not for sure sure they're getting ready to finish uh, planting everything so we need to get back all right so we are gonna pull this into our uh, house here leave it parked uh, hopefully we won't need this snow plow but you never know I think it's smart as far as the way we live means we live out in the boonies out here get a snow plow so I'm gonna take this uh, actually little blue here I plan on making a little ramp across our little uh, in our back field here so the plan is basically so we're gonna use this and I'm gonna plow in this uh, grass field here just because we're not gonna do cows right now we can always plant it back into grass if we do do cows but right now this this is worthless field and I can't drive into this because there's no gates I 
right, I think the best place to do this is right on, right down our little driveway here and right here. So we're going to have to drive right in front of our house. Oh, well, has to be how it is. So I'm going to take this and lift this fence post, get a little chain here, lift these out here. There we go. That should do it. Got it. Now I gotta find my chain here. Alright, tie this up, pull this out here. Alright, so that job is done. Got our little our fence tore down. So now I'm um, hopefully I can create a field over there quickly. Hook this up now that I got the duels on, back on. So hopefully I can go over here and start cultivating. Alright, I don't know why it's not plowing in them weeds right back there, but oh well. Ooh, it's pulling it hard up this hill, that's for sure. Not easy. So we're going to plow this in and hopefully we can plant this don't know for sure and it doesn't want to pull it up this hill man this is being a bugger you can get it up the hill come on okay we're just about up the hill really don't know why it's not chiseling in all these, uh, basically, grass here. Now that we are up here, it's way easier to battle this stuff. Doesn't pull, drag down this tractor too much. having a hard time chiseling some of this weeds or this plants in. I don't know if we'll have to run twice through this. We did go all the way around the pond here. The pond's kind of weird because it's on the high point. Like, uh, if that ever runs down and we might flood our uh, farmyard there. That's not good. This tractor has a real hard time getting up these hills. Of course, it has a real easy time going down the hills, which is nice. Uh, hopefully, we won't have problems. I mean, it is kind of hilly ground we are in right here. Just a little bit away from the river, where the river flows or floods back in the day would make nice flat plains for everyone. Alright, so this is our last little uh, pass right here should be our last little area we got a chisel so now we just have to go get our uh, put some lime on this quickly and then hopefully go hook up to the planter let me, let me fold this up here quickly I think I'm gonna plant it into oats that's my plan uh, got a lot of winter wheat so I just think a little bit of oats would be nice all right got this all hooked up make sure all of our tires are filled up here got quite a bit of tires Getting a little bit dark over here. Turn on our lights just for uh, help us out a little bit. That sun is going down. It's always the hardest to see. Almost harder than at night. 
Alright, so I had a problem with uh, the ground, means I needed to chisel it one more time. Had a problem with it clogging up this planter, so I had to uh, go back, re chisel it. So I'm hoping this planter working now isn't clogging up. Everything looks like it's going good so far, it's just having a little bit of a hard time pulling it up this hill. It's understandable, this is quite the hill going up here. But I think we are done. We got this, our final field planted. That's if we don't purchase the field that we showed you right when we started out here. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here on the FSN Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.